and she rose up, rose up by the power of the Spirit, by the Spirit of this world, by the Spirit, the Spirit, the Spirit. Oh, the Spirit is all over this man, Hector. You are being released. Your foot is being released from the pain. Walk and claim your healing, Hector. Claim your healing in Jesus' sweet name. Come on. Do you have any trouble finding it or anything? No, no. I'm so happy for you. He was just talking about it. Beg the Lord to touch you. Ask him now while the Holy Spirit is overflowing in this room. Say to him, Lord, I don't want it anymore. You take the pain. I am yours. Wash me clean. I can't live the Christian life without you, Lord. I need you to live your life through me. There's a young man who's newly infirm. He's not a believer. He's not one of us. He came here out of desperation. You're in pain. You're in hell. You don't even know why you came or even if you should have. But you are welcome. Now I'm going to point you out. I'm going to point you out. This hand is being guided by the Holy Spirit. You're over here. Now don't be afraid. Don't be frightened. He's calling you. He's healing you. The Lord is healing you right there. It's you, dude. You are being He's called. To you you are right? being yeah. healed Stand right up. now. Stand and receive it. Stand up. Stand and receive it. You are being called. Come on, dude. This is your time. This is it. Stand up and you go and Stand up and claim your healing. You have heart disease and your name is Jerry. What? It's me. I'm Jerry. I'm Jerry. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's always me. Joyce and joy. Some rest. <laughs> okay, okay. Morning, Harv. You're not an asshole. Get me fired. Harv, I didn't get you fired, remember? It was your heart. It's the old ticker, Harv. Promising to help me. 
I did help you, Harv. I get your medicine, remember? I feed you. Make sure you see the nurse, okay? Dean. What's up, Padre? When are you gonna get me into an SRO? Huh? I need a bed. Stick around. I got some forms for you to fill out, all right? I might have something for you. Good to see you. I have the Del Vista Assisted Living Center. I talked to the guy today, and he's ready to take you anytime you want, so you can get out of here. No way, that's a fucking nursing home, bud, right? No way. <laughs> it's not a nursing home, Dean. Look, they have apartments, they have apartments. I'm not They're ending up like that, no way. You're not ending up like what, like Dean? You, you don't have to be down here, Dean. I ain't down here. Every time I see you, ask me for an SRL. You're down here, and you're living in your car, and you don't have to, Dean. That's your reality. Now fill this out, and medical is in the back. Do something to help yourself. There's only so much I can do for you. Dean! Dean, I know you were disappointed, but did you feel the Lord's anointing in the room? He was there. Yeah, yeah, I'm polishing my tattoos, Renee. Don't give up, Dean. You just, you have to be patient. You just have to keep showing up. Remember that God's time isn't our time, but he is always on time. Amen. It's fucking profound. You know, it's only when you're fully open to Jesus. I'm not open. I'm closed. I'm closed for business, Renee. So take your fucking collection plate. Hey! Hey, that's my shit! Come here! Dean, let him go! No, 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 let him go! Let him go! Hey, come let here! Dean, come back let here! Him go. Let him go! Let him go! Dean, let him go! Fuck! Let him go! Fuck! Hey, those are Dean's. That belongs to Dean. Give that back to me. That's it, that's enough. This is what I'm talking about. This is why I don't want you parking here. I want you to fill those forms out, Dean. Dean, are you all right? Yeah. I got I got your shoe. Dean, I know that God feels a million miles away right now, okay? I know what that feels like. I've been there. I've been there myself, but this is a time when you have to believe more than anything. This is the time when you have to be open in your heart to Jesus, and he will come. You really think you're gonna get up and walk one day, Renee? You really believe that? Yes, I do. This guy's a fucking idiot. He's just trying to help. What am I gonna do? What I got no. Life's bullshit, man. There's no way out. There is a way out, but you're gonna have to find it. The table's too high. Oh shit, well I'll fix that. 
No, 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 don't worry about it. I was just messing around. Leave it. You can leave it. No. Just no. get that side. Oh, whoa, 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 He's the best thing we've heard all night. Why don't you just give him a chance? This is his chance, okay? I'm sorry. You know, your bar is not accessible. I could totally report your ass. Why don't you take it up with Lemmy, all right? I don't own the place. I'm, yeah. I'm supporting talent. Who are you supporting? The fucking fuckhead committee of fucks? Good night. Thank you. Don't come back. Delicious. Wait, wait, wait. That guy in there was a jackass! Check it out. I have a band. And I really want you to come jam with us tomorrow. Well, I don't play with bands. Bullshit. Only on the Snide Diver remix and the indefatigable Scratch Clowns for a year. You are that delicious D, right? Or is there, is there another one? Yeah, it's another guy. I know I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Oh, that's good. Let's just hire a dude because he's your... Hey! What are you doing here? Came to audition. Who are you? That's Delicious D. He's won like seven scratch battles. He used to play at Razzie Overclimbs every Friday. Shit, man. No, I heard of Delicious D. Dude, fuck. You scratched on the Ball Shred remix for Snide Diaper. Scratched and mixed, yeah. Hold on, man. You're not even on the list, are you? He's on my list, and he's gonna play because he rocks. The stain, we need you, man. A herald for the infirm. This is the stain. This is delicious D. He played on Snide Diver's record. Snide. You want to hear me solo first? Do you guys just want to jam? Or what do you want to do? Where's the hook? Where's the melody? Where's the melody? What fucking melody? We never talked about a melody. Well, we were keeping it free form. There is a, a place Fuck for Fuck the melody! We're anti-melody. You know, we are still like discovering 
what it is that it is that it's gonna be. Yeah. Nina, we are not doing some corporate gig with our tunes just to get signed. We have a and R people coming. It has to be accessible. This has to be a full multi-layered barrage to the senses. And this is a gimmick. I'll take your suit ears off for a sec, huh? It's fucking cool. Who is this guy? And can we get a real DJ in here? Hey, fuck you, bitch! Shut you the fuck up, man! You Oi! You're auditioning, you fuck! I'll be in touch. Nina! Nina! Get Sonica. That was smart. Fuck are we supposed to do with you? Douchebag. The fuck is that? <sighs> Hello, Dean. Do you have a minute? My man, my man. Oh, but this is him. Yeah. This is the man. He's the one. No, young him. You raised me up. Brendel's had a uh, spontaneous healing, Dean. Of his, of his gout and his Alzheimer's. What are you talking about, man? What? No, no, this is... Listen, please. I mean, you don't know what you did. My man, look, you got the healing touch. I got nothing to do with you, man. I want to thank you. And I want to thank you. Thank I you. got nothing to do with you. I didn't do anything. Okay. All right, let's break it up here. There's nothing to see. Dean had nothing to do with this. So are you one of these guys who has like a huge chip on their shoulder and thinks they can go around and get mad at whoever they want whenever they want? No, no. I was really fucked up the way you talked to Nina. I mean, because like it or not, she does shit for our band, and, you know. I shouldn't have done it, Ariel. I said that. I mean, I want you in the band. I really do, Dean. And I think you have something that's really amazing, but you'd have to learn how to navigate your, you know, your hostilities and shit. Because we have so much shit coming up, and you can't just be, like, flying off the handle. I mean, we're going to get signed, and we're going to play out and do amazing things. I can do it. I don't know if you'd be ready for it. I will not fuck it up. I like painkillers, do you mind? Mm -hmm. No. I don't think I heard you say sorry. Ariel, I'm sorry. Okay. I could talk to the stain. You know, I have a way with him. And he respects my opinion. What, are you serious? Yeah. Show up at the gig at 9 o'clock. And you can be in the band. Just like that? Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Let's drink. Live it, love it, kill it. Please, please heal me. I want to see my children. What 
the hell are you talking about? Look, I can't yes, heal you. you. Can I do don't, it. Look, I don't know what you, you can do. I don't it. know what you think I can do. I can't do anything. Like, you right. can do it. You can do it. All right, all right. Just tell him to get off me. Just yeah. get. Let him go. This is so fucked up. This is so fucking stupid. You got me on my fucking car, man. I don't want to see my children. Please, my children. Things are gonna get stolen again. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Thank you. My goodness, I don't know how you how you sleep on this thing. It's like sleeping on a board. Oh goodness me. Thanks. Oh, excuse me. So, did you hear of the one about the blind woman who's healed by a man in a wheelchair? Retinitis pigmentosa, an incurable disease, but she's cured. <laughs> you really believe that? I mean, you... People can do that? Well, Dean, I have never seen anything like it in all my days. It doesn't work on me. Father Joe. You gonna help me? Huh? You... Father Joe. Morning, Harv. You gonna share that? You got a minute, don't no, you? No, I don't. I got nothing okay. for you. Do you help me? I can't help you, man. Now? I can't help you. I cannot help you. Let me just talk to you for a okay. minute, Father. Listen. Ah. Uh, hell. I've got no time for me. Jesus. Harv's, Harv's got a, a terrible heart. I think you could just don't do that to me, man. Don't do that. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. What's wrong with me? I'm sorry. Dean, I know someone you could talk to who knows much more about this than I do. Just think about it, okay? In our faith, there's a long history of these very special moments. And God has frequently chosen the most unexpected person to carry them through. Privilege, well, if it's so real, why doesn't it always work? Ah, uh, well, there's a dual view here. Anything is possible with God, but God may not want to give you what you want. Why? Because God can't.
cares for your soul. And what your soul needs may not be what you want. But come on, man, that's not cool. But I think you're asking the right questions, Dean, but you're not waiting for the right answers. There's only one answer. Pray. Look, man, I did pray, all right? I tried praying. It doesn't work. I think you were bargaining for the healing, Dean, and that is not the same thing. I think you should say hello to God. And what if I'm pissed off at God? What if I think God's bullshit? I would say hello first, and then tell him he's bullshit and you're pissed off. <laughs> Look at me, son. God is trying to say hello to you and to tell you that healing is possible. Now, how are you gonna respond? Because that's the big question. Something magical, wondrous is happening through you. You're having a calling in this life. And that, my son, is your healing. gift. Yeah, but what about my music? That's my calling. There's no difference between you being a musician and healing. What are you talking about? What am I supposed to do? Go around yeah. touching people? Why not? And Why? be a DJ? Why not? I mean, you, you, you have a calling. You have a gift. Do it. Try it. How? Come down as a kid. Dean, I have no lack of people who need healings down in Skid Row. Mm, Do I, a few days down there. But I don't want everybody knowing about it, Padre. They're already coming up to me. You saw it. How about I give you a hotel room? That's what I'll do. I'll put you up in a hotel room for a few days. When I came down to Skid, it wasn't to be a feeder's alley. I went down there to build a state-of-the-art homeless shelter. I could feed people, I could get them off the streets, I could educate them, and I could put them back into society. I don't want to sustain misery in Skid Row. Do you think I... Do you really think I could be healed? Entirely possible. Can you Let's drop go. me off? Like sure, thing? where? The gig? The motel. What motel? The motel you just offered me. Yes, duh. Sure. <laughs> Turntables, who's scratching? Dude, that's Maestro Sonica. Fuck! Fuck!
was fucking rubbish. And you're all fucking fired in the morning. Unless I wake up with a clear head. Well, well, well. Look at what the cat rolled in. You're coming in the back door, D, are you? Trawling for crumbs. Fuck off, go on. My one and only groupie, Dean. What the hell are you doing here, man? Dude, man, you fucking fried your fuck up. We got ourselves a DJ, sorry. Let me tell you something, man. The altar boy, he doesn't grab from the pointy, ponty, puffed up, pious pope. He's off to the side, juggling his trinkets. Dude, he just said puffed up pope. Dude, Dean, come on, man. Just puff on his peace pipe, pal. fucking help. Did I ask for your help? See, what do you come to people's places like doing party tricks and shit? Yeah, yeah. It was a party trick. Okay? It was a stupid fucking party trick and just forget you ever saw it. What are you doing? Get out. Get out of the fucking get out of the fucking car, Ariel. No! Get out of the car! <laughs> You're not gonna win this battle. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? So this is where you live? Yeah. Love it. I love sleazy motels. It's like hell with a, with a warm light. So what's your secret? How did you do that? With Oogie. Did you really heal him? I don't know how I did it, Aaron.
This is Maria, Lupita. She has emphysema. She hasn't spoken to her family. Her family hasn't spoken to her in years. She's alone in this world. Dude. history and all that, none of that. No chit-chat, just bring them to me. Dean, I gotta tell you, all my work, not in Africa or the favelas in Rio, or working here, feeding the homeless, have I ever seen the grace that I saw today? It's a real blessing, Dean. I, I, I hope you understand that. How much money do we make today? The donations. Dean, I... I can't pay you to lay hands, Dean. That's God working through you. I can't, I can't pay you to do that. I'm already paying for your hotel room. Yeah, $39.99 a night. Which is a fortune for us down here. Do you know how many people I can feed with that kind of money? I know, I know it's... How about, um... How about I give you a few extra dollars a day? Just to help out with incidentals, toothpaste, gas. How much? $42? On top of the 39 Are you kidding me? 42 no. total? 42 Well, I drive a guzzler. You know what it takes to fill that tank? Okay, well, how about, how about, uh, I don't know. What, what, 40, 43, 43 dollars? Let me just work this out here. I mean, I'm not trying to be, you know. I know, I, just, I know, Dean, it's just a lot of money for, I, I, I could well, probably, I could probably swing 40, 44, 44, 45 dollars a day. You can't go 50? 50? 50. 47, 47.50. 47, 50. How about okay, 48? Make it 48, we'll round it up to 48. 48. Well, that, that's gonna be enough? Okay. Great, great. So, make a note of it. 47.50 per day. Okay, 48. unbelievable so many people so many people were healed right there in front of me things have totally changed around down there I'm getting a hundred times more donations now than ever before hmm. how's Dean feel about that 
Claro. Isto é. You know, you can't fix everybody on a skid. And besides that, you're way overdue on a retreat. Now, you know that as well as I do. Mm -hmm. I want you to get on a retreat soon. You're a little tensed up, Joe. Okay. All right. Promise? As soon as this is done. Okay, and then finish your sandwich. I'm starving. You can say to yourself, with all I have, I'm gonna bless somebody else. And if I don't drive what I drive and live where I live, it don't matter. I just wanna help somebody else. Can I preach like I feel it? What's up? Are you accepting visitors? <laughs> you gonna invite us in? What's going on? Oogie's no liar. I made him take a lie detector test anyway. It's fucking true, man. You made me take a fucking lie detector test. I know this guy. <laughs> He does it on the side. I'm not a believer, D. I'm not even sure that I care, but I've got to know. Are you fucking with us? I should not have done it, okay? I should not have done that. No, you shouldn't have done it, but you did. <laughs> you won't show us, and I want you to show me. Look. <sighs> Nothing up my sleeve. The stain, no, don't. It doesn't work like that, man. I'm serious. Come on. Don't do Jeez, it. Man. It doesn't That's work like hurt, that, man. Bro. I'm serious. Oh, no, man. That's doing? fucked up, man. Were you gonna put him through this shit again? Oh, oh, fuck, fuck. oh, oh fuck's sake, man. Oh, oh. Turn your fucking I know. Arm, fucking psychopath. Yeah, do that. Oh, Stop fucking laughing, man. You Come said here. you're gonna Give me burn yourself, man. Come here. Give it to me. Give it to me. Right, do it, man. I want to see this. I need to see this. Shut up, Oogie. That really burns. That is such some Ow. fucked up mojo. Fuck, <laughs> man. Come here, let me have a look. No, man, no, no. Oh my God. No way, bro. No fucking way, dude. What? No, man, no way. No way. Uh-uh. No, man, I'm not in your fucking band, no. No, uh, no. No. He'll get over it. He's so sensitive. Look, D, I was down with your shit the minute I heard it. I think that's known. Totally. You got serious fucking attitude dysfunction. But this shit, man, this is epic. This, we could do this together, man. The only way forward is to be real, is to do something iconic. It's not created by choreographers or some lame London designer's ball sack. <laughs> That's why you came? We could have fun with this, D. No. Titillate the masses. I don't titillate. I'm a turntablist. You want me in your band? It's because I'm a fucking turntablist. We want you in the band, Dean, because of your music. We want a little of this, a little of that, a little of this. No, I'm not gonna be some sideshow freak. We want you in the band. Dave. Come on, man. You are an artist. D. We want you in the band. Will you hear that, D? That is opportunity knocking. Your life is in your hands. What are you gonna do, brother? Make sure the people are off the streets. We gotta get these people out. We don't have permits. We have nothing. 
I will double. I will double the building fund for your charity. I'm gonna send double for my daughter. He must see her alone. I don't want this. Understand? Please. I will double the fund. I have to see her. I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. Please, please. I, I will. Yeah, please. my work. Yes. Me, me, me here. Give me one moment. Can you make sure that, that she's comfortable somewhere? Put her, put her in the tent for a moment. Okay. He's here. Doesn't always happen. Doesn't always. Doesn't always work. Doesn't doesn't always work, everybody. It's, it's it doesn't always work. They did it in the Bible. Bendice este pañuelo. Bendile que lo bendiga. Don't you see what you're doing? You're doing great. Don't you see? All right, the whole all right. Spirit right. is all right. flowing through this hellhole, Dean. <laughs> you will feel it. Bendice lo. Okay, Padre, dígale. Es para mi esposo que se está muriendo. Eres un bendecido de Dios. Eres un profeta. Dios te bendiga. Gracias, Padre. It's okay, it's just wonderful, it's wonderful, it's happening. Okay, who's next? Okay, let's start over here at the line, come to the back of the line here. I need a break. There's so many. I need a break. Okay, okay, let's let him have a break. Let's, let's let him have, just, just make some way. Make some way, folks. Make some way. Oh, hold on, everybody, hold on. Make some way. Just give him some air, okay? He needs a break. This is getting like painful, man. I'm serious. I don't understand, all right? And how much money are you taking in? You can raise my wage. We're gonna renegotiate. Doing negotiation. I could be doing this on stage, man. This is ridiculous. What? Channel two is here. No, no. There's nothing happening. There's nothing to report. Hey, why can't I talk to the reporters? I'm the one they want to see. We are not talking to reporters. We're gonna advertise you now. Look at this. It's already out of control. Yo, you're the one who turned it into mash. I never said I'd do this. Okay, hold on. Just stay back, everyone. Move! Move! No, 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 no fucking way. No! Move! No! Move! No! Move! We just need to break, everybody. Let me just talk to her for a moment. Dean! Dean, you get back here right now. I am not touching that guy. One more. No fucking way. One more. If I ain't getting up, he ain't getting up. It's not Renee Fobacher, Dean. It's not Renee Fobacher. You said do this, and I get healed. Okay, that's it. That's enough. All right? No more. Listen to me, Dean. Listen to me. There is a major contributor here who is offering to make a huge donation to this shelter to help people, really help people, if you lay hands on his daughter. Please, please, where is he? 
Is he, hold on, hold on one second. Zahidi, is Mr. Zahidi here? Can you bring Z Mr. Zahidi? This is Mr. Zahidi, Dean Aguirre. What is it? What's wrong? My daughter, my child, she has mm -hmm. cerebral palsy from birth. She's been suffering. I, I, I can't save my own child. If there's anything that you can do. How much? No, 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 well, that, well, that's... What's the, what's the offer? No, Dean, that's really between him and well, the church. For $250,000, if, if, if she's healed, if she's healed. A, for the shelter. 250 grand? Pay me. I'm sorry. What, no, what no, no. Wait, why, Give me the 250 grand if you want me to do it. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. You don't need him. You need me. Can I talk to you for a minute? Well, you got your checkbook on you? Ding. No. Can I speak to you for a minute? What I'm out of here. I just want to. What is wrong with you? You want your daughter healed? Can you do this? Follow me. I, I, I want to help my son. You want it? You want it? Come to the fucking show! Come to the show! Come to the show! Delicious. Nina, Nina, it fucking worked. I told you it would work, you doubter, and it worked! I smell it. Do you understand what happened tonight? You all gave birth tonight. And now we have a child. Do we have a child? We. We brought a new life into the stale fucking world of rock. You were all brilliant. But Stain. It was your night, baby. Too fucking right it was. You did it. 
You took your place. Too fucking right I did. Tonight. Chuck! A power, man. Rasha. Hoogie. I could taste you. Ariel. You had wings on your back. I could see your wings. And you. You sexy motherfucker. That is right. I called him forth. I plucked him hence. Stain, my love. You have to write a song. A song that will support R.D. as he rolls downstage. Because when we tour, which we will, our baby's gonna be named. Gila Palooza. Gila Palooza, eh? Hmm? Gila fucking. Our baby. Our fucking baby. I am bringing about the Diphthong's experience to the people. Let's get something straight, Nina Love, all right? I wanted Dean in the band from the beginning because of his scratching. This man is an artist, not some sideshow freak. He's not going to sell himself out to a little magic hands trick. The band is the music. We will override the showiness on display and be respected. But D, D, you may end up a pathetic joke. Are you cool with that, man? Fuck it. As long as I'm getting paid. Do we all hear that? Are we clear, Nina? Yeah. Good. I've got phone calls to make. You think I'm a sellout, sideshow freak? What do you care? As long as you're getting paid, right? Oh, fuck it, Ariel. What am I supposed to do? Go back to living in my fucking car? That's good. That's good. You're owed. You're owed. You're owed, right? Yeah, everybody owes you. You're so full of shit. I'm about to put your crap ass band on the fucking map. I'm gonna give you everything you wanted. What's all this purity coming from you? Yeah, my band! My band! My fucking band! You motherfucker! You fucking piece of shit! You have God's gift! You have God's gift! Do you even care about those people, Dean? Do you even care what happens to them? Who the fuck are you? I know my place in the world. What the fuck are you? Piece of shit. I'm so glad you decided to legally join the fold. I can never fire you ever. <laughs> Dean, look, there were 17 sick or infirm people in the audience the other night. 12 of them said they were healed. Now, if that's any indicator, then you're missing 28% of the time, which is a marketing nightmare. And that means that I have to deal with it, which you shouldn't have to know about, but I'm the one who's taking the risk. I need security. You'll see, it's pretty standard contract. Seven year negotiation clause on my end, plus a few extra amenities because I'm so hands on. And we can talk about sweetening your end. How do you feel about a signing bonus? Hmm?
rock band burnt the diphthongs, denies accusations that their on-stage miracles are nothing more than a publicity stunt. In fact, they claim the show is really all about the music. He touched me in different places, but then he focused his energy where I told him I had my dream. I want to sleep with him the whole time. The bizarre scratch rock healing punk show has sparked a riot and even a religious protest, but it's also being called New Church by its surprisingly diverse fans. Despite the growing number of attacks from doctors and the AMA denouncing the show as a hoax and projected to itself reaching into the billions, it's not hard to see what fans are looking for, a need to believe, a need for something Just put the neck brace on. Ah, uh, the easiest hundred dollars I've ever made. She made this ass open too. Mm -hmm. What's up?
Homicide begins. In these precious moments, when life saving decisions could have been made, what was on the mind of the rock star, Dino Dwyer? What was he thinking? As Ariel Lee lay at his feet, taking her last breath, was he thinking, wow? What a show. How are we going to recreate this? Because I can tell you this, he was not thinking about Ariel Lee. Because if he was, help would have gotten to Ariel Lee, and she might be here today. And that, by definition, is manslaughter. This is a tragedy, to say the least. We are all absolutely devastated. Delicious D's actions were selfless and heroic, and we asked for your sensitivity at this time. Ariel Lee did not die because of neglect. Ariel Lee died because she OD'd. They were, people said they were healed. Um. Dean, man, you should have let the paramedics at her because you couldn't heal her. Whatever happened, you, I don't know what happened. You Maybe you did too much. Just remember, you are under oath, so just, just tell us the truth. I say he is the living embodiment of all that is good in humankind. We all want to know there's good in people. And I'm no exception to that. The crowd was chanting for her to be healed. They thought I was all part of the show. I grabbed the mic to call for help, but power had been caught to the stage and the paramedics had been blocked I didn't get to say what needed to be said that night so I'm going to say what needs to be said now and it's something I've been asked not to say by Dean or Dwyer or Nina Hogue uh, ob Objection Your Honor that is that he's a fake please. he's a phony Objection He's a fraud Order. This charlatan oh, son of a bitch no. He can't heal shit! It was all a fucking act! You were all duped! Order! You never could heal! You bought a fucking lie! Well, welcome to the fucking show! As the religious authority figure who first encouraged this gift, you can testify to Dean's healing technique and his intense concentration, which would have been interrupted by the paramedics. In, in that regard, that makes you our expert witness. And character witness. Describing Dean's early healings on Skid Row, how selfless he was, mm. how pure his motives were. Mr. O'Dwyer has graciously agreed, free of charge, and for a designated period of time, to come down to Skid Row and lay hands on whomever you wish. In exchange for my testimony? Yes. No. No. 
Can I speak to Dean alone for a moment, please? You do what you think is right, Father. By the way, just so you know, I'm a Marymount girl. <laughs> and I, I had the calling to be a nun. And I lost my way. Maybe sometime we'd get together and talk about that. Certainly. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Something else, huh? I, um, I brought you something. Show you some of the good work you did. That Mexican woman whose handkerchief you touched. You healed her husband, Dean. You healed him. The cloth to carry the power. I should have touched Gila Palooza hankies, huh? Sold them at the t-shirt booths. They're trying to say that I killed somebody. <laughs> That's bullshit. They're just coming after me because of who I am. Ariel was a junkie. She took a bunch of pills. I did everything I could. I thought it was working. It's hard to know, isn't it? Okay. All right, let's make it right. What can I do for you? What can I do for your shelter? How about this? in mysterious ways. Think of all those people you'll be able to help. I... I owe you an apology, Dean. I misused you. It's okay. I forgive you. You want to help me? Do this. Do this for me. I'll testify for you. I'll testify to the healings that I saw, but that's it. I won't be your character witness because I, I won't get on that stand and say that, um, that your motives were pure. What were my motives? I don't know, Dean. All I know is that you abandoned those people when they needed you. You abandoned them to become a rock star. That's what you're gonna say? I'm not gonna lie. Ugh! I'm sorry. No! No, you can't lie. You're too good for that. You can't con people. You don't use people for your own glory. You don't do anything like that. What if on cross-examination my lawyer asks, what were your motives? 250 grand. That has no bearing oh, on oh, any yes, of this. Oh, yes, it does. No, it oh, yes, it does. No. You are the inspiration for this whole thing. Paying for miracles. Where did I get that from? So let's just say, Father, that you're going to get on the stand and you're going to tell the fucking truth. The truth is, is that you prostituted your gift. No, the truth is you prostituted me. That is not true. Prove it isn't. Can you put your hand on your Bible and say you didn't do that? Dean, I have admitted my wrongs, all right? But I am not gonna repeat them. <laughs> That's great. That's really fucking holy of you, Father. I'll see you in hell. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, Dino Dwyer. You think what? You think? You think 
You think this means anything to me? You think you can buy me? You think I'm for sale? I'm not like you. You're not gonna ruin my life twice. You sold me out! For your own fucking sainthood! I tried. And you're doing it you, again right now! I tried now. to save you. You're, I tried to give that you gift to the people who it belongs me. to. You never you're a God-given gift, I, You're a my bullshit friend. priest! You are a fucking fraud! Don't you that guy! You are the most selfish! I am out there you every night giving gifts! For the masses! And what did you do? Me. You used it all right? for yourself! Forgive me. Excuse me. And that is why you are here today, Father. Now, Father, I can't help but notice that you are in your uh, civilian clothes today. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, is there any particular reason for that? I'm on a leave of absence. Okay, but you are an ordained Catholic priest these past 16 years. That's correct. Okay, now, the Catholic Church believes in hands-on healing. It is described as a genuine gift of the Holy Spirit. So now, Father Rosselli, can you, as a modern priest, come before us today and say that he has the power to heal? Because it all comes down to this. If Dean O'Dwyer cannot heal, then this was a show. And a talented young woman is dead because of it. So, Father, in your expert opinion, does Dean O'Dwyer have the ability to heal? God. God is the only healer. Objection, Your Honor, speculation. How can that be speculation when I've asked your own witness? We are to not you speaking of a metaphorical I'll healing you here, Your Honor. He is making a order. Of this I'll court. have order in my Permission court. Permission to redirect counsel? the honor. The witness, Your Honor, please. I want to help you get out of here as quickly as possible. Programs for disabled prisoners are limited, obviously, but there are some, and I think you should get involved. I got nothing but time in here. I wanted to be so pissed at you. 
but all I can think is how bad I fucked everything up. Ah, just do your time, Dean. Keep your nose clean. What the hell was I thinking? I mean, what was I doing? What was I supposed to do? You're supposed to let the paramedics come up and do their job. There's, there's one program in particular that I that I think you'd be good for. It's a uh, it's a work detail. You get to leave prison grounds to do community service. You know, if I got out of here, I don't know where I'd start. I got nothing. I can't help myself. I can't. I need help. I need... Sorry. I try to control your gift. I wanted to be more than what I was. And I wanted you to be someone you weren't. I'm not a priest anymore, Dean. Look. I know you thought you were helping me. But... Nothing helps. Maybe you can help everybody. No, no. You know what? You know when you help me? When you fed me. You fed me. You fed people. Crippled work program? What are we gonna do?
sorry, you know what? The, the, let's try the purple. Purple? Yeah. Okay, this one. Who are you? Oh, Dwyer. Twelve sixty four, Paris. Would you say your name was again? Just let me on the bus, man. Oh, hold on. I don't know what to tell you, but you're not on the list. Look, I don't know where you got the outfit or what kind of prank you're trying to pull here, but this is a state facility bus, and these are convicted prisoners. So what you're doing here is not a joke. It's actually a crime. All right, that's funny. What have you, lost your mind? I have seen everything now. You better run along. Look at this. It's so bad out here, we got a guy begging to come with you. All right. Tell you what, you go do like a stick up or something like that, and we'll find a seat for you, okay? Okay. Let's go!
Hey, man, how much is this? You can have that shit for free, man. <laughs> you sure? Hey, thanks, man. Really. See ya. Thank you. 